How can we be one and yet be separate? How is there the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, yet we are one? How is there the mind, the body, and the spirit yet you are one? How does this work? How are you all individuals, yet one? This is a hard concept to grasp, especially if you still see things only as solid matter. But if you realize that everything is energy, everything is a frequency that manifests as different forms, you will begin to grasp it. Imagine a sound, a pure vibration. When you hear it, you hear it as a clear, pure note. Someone else hears it, but hears it differently. It may be slightly higher, slightly lower, a little discordant. You perceive through your physical body and in the physical realm frequencies manifest or come into being differently for different people. Imagine a frequency of sound. To some it sounds pleasant, to others it sounds jarring and unpleasant. It is the physical nature of the third dimension that creates division and makes it hard for you to grasp our oneness. Imagine again, water, ice, and mist. They are all water, just in different states or at different frequencies. I have shown you these to help you grasp who you are. Water as individual droplets that fall as rain. Then they become a lake, a pond, a puddle or an ocean. They do not look separate or feel separate. They become one. Then the sun heats the water and it turns to gas. It evaporates and rises into the sky, where it joins other droplets that have evaporated and forms clouds. Then when there are enough droplets and they are cooled again, they turn back into water and fall back to earth. So is water, ice, or is it rain, or is it mist or vapor? You know it is all three. It is the same with us, we are one, we just appear differently at different temperatures or frequencies. It is the same with you. You think you are separate, but it is only in your droplet form that exists in the three-dimensional reality that you are droplets, in other dimensions at other frequencies you are one. This is why we are raising the vibration or the frequency of the planet so you can begin to see yourselves as we see you. Forces of darkness would like to keep you at lower frequencies so that you don't realize who you really are and that you are not alone and isolated. They sow fear and doubt to lower your vibration so you can't see or hear clearly. The only way you can truly raise your vibration is to surrender your fears and doubts and step into love and acceptance. Most of you say you would love to live in love and acceptance, but you don't want to let go of the wheel. You want to be the one driving even though you are lost and don't know where you are going. I would say, stop, step out of the driver's seat, hop in the passenger seat, and let me drive you to where you want to go. Can you do this? Can you trust me to get you to where you want to go? You have tried to get there on your own, but you keep going around in circles, making the same mistakes, taking the same wrong turns. I can get you there quickly and without getting lost and wasting time and energy on wrong turns and dead ends, but you have to ask me to take control and get you there. Are you ready to ask or do you still think you can do it better on your own? The choice is yours. I implore you to let me help. My heart breaks when I see you lost and alone when all you need do is call and I will be there and will help you. As always, 
I love you and only want the very best for you. My children, why are you so impatient? You want everything now and don't understand when it doesn't happen instantly. Do you know how long I have been waiting patiently for you? Power without wisdom and understanding is a dangerous thing. The doors to the kingdom contain locks for a reason. The gifts and abilities you have within you are very powerful and require wisdom and discernment to use them properly. If I just let you open Pandora's box and pick and choose for yourself, you would not value what you receive. I give you what is right for your highest good. If a tree grows too quickly it doesn't develop a wide or deep enough root system to hold it then in the first storm it will fall over. The same is true for you. The greater your abilities, the stronger and deeper and wider your roots need to be because there will be storms, storms of doubt, storms of unbelief of others, storms of questioning and more. If you are not strongly rooted in truth you will not survive. You need to ground, and to connect to source, you need to protect yourself and ask for my guidance daily. You need to build routines which will support you during the darkest nights or the brightest days. If you ask, if you seek, I will send the right teacher at the right time to guide you to the next stage. Don't rush to run before you have learned to walk. All that will happen is you will end up falling over and getting bruised and cut. When you have learned to crawl, then you will walk and eventually you will run. This can happen quickly or slowly. Everyone is different and everyone has lessons to learn along the way. The quickest way to ascend is to surrender. Surrender both yourself and the timing to me. If you surrender you can leave it with me trusting that it will happen at the right time and just take joy in what is here now. As always, I love you.